Man, I remember being real scared of this map as a kid because I was like, oh my god, how are you supposed to get away from that mancubus? He's gonna blow you up. It's just one of those things that's just like, oh damn, you know? There is a way to uh, avoid taking too much damage at the beginning by just kind of dodging the explosions accordingly, but really I think you're supposed to just, you know, run like hell. I'm actually going to take care of some of these assholes out here while I've got a chance. That way they're not such a big deal when I get to the other part of the map, because that room with like the 8 million uh, pain elementals, that room is a pain in the ass, and since I actually have the weaponry to take care of these idiots, I can do it. From a pistol start, it's way worse, because you don't have the weaponry to try and take care of all this shit, and it sucks. I mean, it just blows. But I've got some weapons right now, so let's do it. It'll make my life easier when we get to the other side there. But yeah, basically once we got to my desktop, Doom wasn't really a special thing anymore. Because when you were growing up, being able to play Doom, for me anyway, was special. It was like, oh man, Doom, yeah, it's a great game. Now I can just play the damn game whenever I want. It doesn't have the same feel anymore. But it's still a fantastic game, and I love to play it. That will never change, but... um. You know, it's not special, like, oh, wow, my dad's letting me play Doom, uh, you know. That feel, I don't think, will ever kind of return. And it, it's sad, but that's what happens when you get older. There's all sorts of things in your life that just kind of go away. And, you know, you can always, you, you have to be happy that you lived through certain things. You can't be sad that they're over. you got to be happy that, you know, you had them at all. And that's how I feel, you know, I'm happy that I can look back fondly on Doom like that. You know, that's one of the things that makes the game so special to me to this day, is that I can look back on all the good times I shared with the game when I was growing up. Oh my god, the fucking Lost Souls. This is the worst part of this map by far. Once you get out of this area, it's not too bad at all. But the freaking, just the Lost Soul freaking extravaganza kills this. And of course you have the barrels to worry about too. rocket launcher a little bit. You gotta be careful with the rocket launcher on these dudes, because if they fly in your face and you shoot, you're done. Alright, there's still a few up there, but I'll worry about them later. Now I can get this armor, now that I ran out. You gotta be careful with the armor. So yeah, Doom Doom is just a really nice game. It's it's cool that I can play a game and have new experiences and, you know, really strong nostalgia as well. There's not a lot of games that I can do that with. So that's, it's pretty sick. And, you know, Doom, I think Doom will always live on. You know, lots of other games come and go, but Doom still, you know, stands up today. And that's really neat that a game can still be like that. And, you know, it still have such a strong community as it does. Because this community really is, it's a lot bigger than a lot of people would expect for a game as, you know, that's 20 years old. Almost 21 now, the overall series. And that's great, you know, it's really fantastic that that this continues to be a thing. So yeah. So a lot of things that I'm going to talk about from this point onwards are not going to be just specific to Doom 2, but probably more like Doom. It's basically the same thing I was doing with the last LP. Uh-oh. I don't want to do that. I want it to land. Yeah, this sucks too. Just the freaking chain gun spam. I mean, how is that fair? And I almost died. Shit. Well, now I gotta deal with this part ahead of time. Of course, it didn't collide. Yeah. That sucks. Normally, I'm not doing this, this bad off, but the freaking chain gunners are just out of control. And now I can't even get back over here. Actually, I can. Okay, this is where I wanted to go, was over to this side, because this is this is where I usually go first, but I got rushed out of there by the chain gunners. You can't hit them, because auto-aim doesn't really do a good job. It's That is a really annoying part. And I didn't land on the ledge where the Megasphere was, so I could camp. I fell down, so... I was all sorts of screwed up. Still, nothing's as bad as the next map. Ugh, worst map in the entire game, objectively. There's an imp that's tucked away back there. 
And I, I believe he's there just to act as like a a decoy enemy to make you attack and wake up the freaking mastermind. But it, it doesn't really matter. The, I just make the mastermind fight with the arachnatrons. There he goes. I only save now that I'm out of that gork zone. Yeah, this is a map. I remember, this is one of the few maps I kind of remember my brother playing when we lived in Idaho. Because he got to around this part and got killed by the spiders and shit. Look, who are these guys over here? Not so much for infighting, huh? Got plenty of rockets I can use at least. Usually I get more done with the infighting, but this time I kind of blepped. I know he took a decent bit of damage out there. Normally he gets killed by all of them. Normally I can get all of them to infight, and then it's, you know, it's just easy peasy. Because once they're all infighting, it's, there's like nothing you gotta worry about. Now I can deal with this part. Usually I have enough cells to just use the BFG here, but I don't for once. Ooh, I got lucky there. Yeah, he wasn't gonna kill that freaking guy quick enough for me. Yeah, uh, it was really nice to have Sparks doing commentary with me. I hope you guys enjoyed that, because that was something new I wanted to try, was have uh, co-commentary, because I've never done such a thing. And I think it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. It was just nice to have him, because my friend Sparks is one of my few friends in my like kind of online circle of friends that I have that has played Doom. You know, around the same time as me and as much as I have. So he's got a decent bit of experience. A lot of my other friends are kind of, they have minimal experience with Doom. And therefore they're not really comfortable talking about it at any real length. And you know, that's fine if they feel that way. Actually, I didn't want to go through that one, but now I realize I do because I want this. Because I didn't get this. There's a lost soul stuck in the wall. Ugh, that sucks. I hate when they do that because then I can never find out where the hell they are. Not like it really matters. I was going to have another friend help me with commentary, but he declined because he just felt that, you know, whatever he could talk about wasn't going to work well enough. And, you know, that again, that's okay. I can't get everyone to help me all the time. And I'm just glad that I got one of my friends on board for this. And I think it really changed things up enough that, you know, it was interesting for you guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That was nice.